blackouts unknown, stop quote. That's another way of essentially saying that they're missing an action. Five of their comrades were killed in an insurgent ambush this morning, and now there's a desperate search that's underway. Uh, let, let's go to this report now. It just came in, in fact, a little while ago from Iraq. Here's CNN's Arwa Damon. These fields and farmlands interlaced with canals are a labyrinth of ambush sites where the enemy often waits for the opportunity to strike. This is the region south of Baghdad where Saturday's ambush took place. This morning at 4.44 a.m. in Iraq, a coalition force team of eight soldiers, seven Americans and an Iraqi army interpreter were attacked 12 miles west of Mamadiyah. As a result of this attack, five soldiers were killed in action and three are currently missing. Something here went horribly wrong. At the time of the attack, a nearby unit heard explosions and attempted to establish communications but without success. At 4.59 a.m., an unmanned aerial vehicle observed two burning vehicles. Coalition forces arrived within an hour, secured the site, and immediately initiated a search. Iraqi troops joined that search. It's not the first time that this area, also known as the Triangle of Death, has been the scene for a complex attack. Last June, in the same area, two U.S. soldiers were kidnapped and killed their mutilated bodies found three days later. A group affiliated with Al-Qaeda claimed responsibility for that gruesome act and images that America cannot forget. The U.S. military doesn't want to see this happen again. Helicopter, unmanned aerial vehicle and fixed wing assets are being used to search in the vicinity. Checkpoints have been established throughout the area and a concerted effort to focus the search and prevent potential movement of missing soldiers out of that area. As the military tries to find its missing and figure out what went wrong, the first questions that come to mind are, why was it such a small contingent of Americans and why did it take an hour for other forces to respond? Arwa Damon, CNN, Baghdad. Look, this is a tough story for military officials to even talk about because of what could happen to these soldiers, God forbid. Um, I got a chance to talk to one of our military analysts, Major General Don Shepard, is telling us that with each passing hour, the odds for these troops gets worse. We can expect the worst here. When we can't find these guys, uh, they're in somebody else's control, and uh, we, we can expect the worst here. Now, we're going to hope for the best. You never yeah. throw in the towel. But uh, this triangle of death, it's, I've been down there. It's one of these areas where the hair stands up on the back, back of your neck. It's a Sunni area. There's al-Qaeda down there. Everybody looks at you menacingly, and it uh, this simply cannot be good news with three people. Well, and, you know, heaven forbid what they might do or want to do with these guys, and that, that's why we all certainly, you know, are going to say our prayers and have our fingers crossed as well. But do, can you give us an indication as a soldier or as a Marine what you're supposed to do? What might they be preparing to do right now? Is, is their first idea to try and get away, escape? Uh, the first idea is always to escape, uh, but not to lose your life in doing so. Uh, the second idea is to try to stay alive, but not do anything that embarrasses you, that endangers uh, yourself or your comrades there. Don't make any statements uh, uh, for them, about them. You know you're going to be try they're going to try to exploit you, but do the best you can to stay alive, not embarrass yourself, and take care of yourself and your buddies, all the while trying to escape. But it's really tough. These people that we're up against uh, are masters at uh, keeping people uh, captive. Obviously, we're going to be uh, keeping tabs with our military analyst, Don Shepard, as well as our Pentagon correspondents and our correspondents in Iraq to get the latest on that story. If we get anything else, we'll bring it to you right away. Meanwhile, I want you to 